Hello guys, welcome to the first tutorial video on how to make your own platformer game in Game Maker. Get ready because you are about to make your own game. And let's hop on to the tutorial. So open up Game Maker. I am using 8.1 Pro. Go to Files on the top and create a new project. Here on the left side of this navigator, there are categorized folders called resources. It contains sprites, sounds, backgrounds, etc. So within these folders, we will put some sprites inside the sprite resource and sounds inside the sound resource and so on. And this top navigator, this one, it has symbols or icons, right? If you hover them with your mouse cursor, you will see their labels. Like this, this icon, it says, create new game. When you press this, you will create a new project. It's like how we did earlier by going to files on the top and pressed create new project, right? And this says, open an existing game. When you press this button, a window will pop up and it tells you to open an existing project. Only if you have a project file to open with. It is also located on the file navigator. And this one is pretty common, it says, save game. So here's the tip, always save your project file within 20 or 30 minutes, so that you won't lose your file when something unusual happens. On this one the green triangle says, run the game, we can only press this when we wanted to test or see something. But for now when we press this it will only shows an empty window because we have not made any progress yet. On its side, we see a red version of run the game, so this one you can play the game in debug mode. And so on. It's best for you to explore this program. So, I guess we are now ready to create our game. Right click on the sprite resource. And create a sprite. So at this window, name your sprite whatever you want to name it, but I will name it spr underscore idle. After naming it, click the edit sprite. A new window appears, go to files and click, new. Since we are making a cube let's make it 16 by 16, then click ok. Double click the, image 0. Wait, before that, why is it labeled to image 0? Because in programming languages, counting numbers starts with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Now double click it, and it will bring you to the image editor. So here I will make a cube. I will use black as its outline and fill the inside with red. Now if you are done, press the check button and press the check button again, and I want you to center it, here below. Now that it's done, close this, and create another sprite for our floor or ground. I will name it spr underscore floor. I will edit it and just fill it with black. Oh yeah and same pixels as our idle sprite 16 by 16. I am gonna close this and this. Now at this window, do not center it. Because if you are going to put it in a room, we won't be able to put them in order. I am gonna close this. And now, let's make an object. Go right click objects and click create object. I will name my object to obj underscore char. And select the idle sprite. Close this all and go create another object for our floor. I am going to name this obj underscore floor and select the floor sprite. Now leave it like that and close this and let's make a room inside the room resources. Now put your character or object inside the room. Now let's test it. As you can see there's our character. But we are not able to move because we have not putted any actions inside of an events yet. So close this and go back to our object character. Now let's add an event, the create event. So inside the create event let's put a piece of code. Let's type all the variables. Let's make a comment, double slash. This line won't be executed. It will be just get ignored when this code is executed. Now let's make variables. But. Before that I would recommend you to watch Sean Spaulding's and Heartbeast code tutorials, so that you won't get confused if I have not explained this well. Their channel will be at the description. Now let's put grav, stands for gravity. If you make it gravity, instead of grav, you will use the built-in function of GM code. We are going to make ours. Now grav is equal to 0.4 and semicolon. Why is it 0.4? Because if we set the frame per seconds of our room to 60, it will multiply by 2, because of the speed. Now to the next line, let's make our walk speed. I will name it walk SPD, and it is equal to 2. It will return as 4 if the room FPS been set to 60. And our jump speed, jump SPD is equal to 6. Let's make our container. HSP, stands for horizontal speed is equal to 0, because we are going to make this as a container of datas. Now let's do it for vertical also, VSP is equal to 0. Now, we are done on the create event. Let's make our step event. 
go add a new event and click step. And inside, drag or put a piece of code. So I will make a comment and label this controls. So let's make a key variables, left key is equal to keyboard, check open close parenthesis and inside, vk underscore left. Same as the right key in the jump key. Now, let's check if there is a solid ground one pixel below us. So I will make a new comment again, and label it as ground check. I will put an if statement. If place meeting x, y, plus 1, and our object floor, then, vsp is equal to 0. It means if there is a 1 pixel below us, or we are currently touching the ground, our vertical speed is set to 0, because we are already on the ground. Let's make a jump function inside this, if jump key then vsp is equal to negative jump spd, our jump spd is set to 8. If it's positive, its direction will be downwards. If it's negative, it will go upwards. Now if we jump, it will be just stuck on the air. We want it to go down. So let's create a gravity. If not place meeting x, y plus 1, obj floor then, if vsp is less than 10 then vsp plus equals to gravity. It means that if we are not touching that one pixel of our floor, then inside if our vertical speed is less than 10. Our vertical speed depends on our jump speed. As long as we are not touching the ground we are going to fall. Now we are done to our jump and gravity, we must code a movement. If left key, then hsp is equal to negative walk spd, it means when we press our left key, hsp will return to our walk speed but negative, because we want to walk our character to left. Same function to our right key, but do not make it negative because we want to move it to right. Now if we are not pressing those key, we want to make our character to stop. Because if we press the left key, it will just go on the to left, even though you released it. So let's make another if statement. If not left key and not right key or key left and key right, then hsp is equal to zero. It means if we are not pressing those keys, we want to make our hsp to zero or to stop. Now, let's make a collision to our character to the wall. We will use the floor as walls. So that when we collide to the walls, our character won't go through it. Make another if statements, if place meeting, x plus hsp, y, and obj floor, then, while not place meeting, x plus sign parenthesis hsp, y, and obj floor, then, x plus equals sign parenthesis hsp, so outside the while let's set our hsp to zero, and outside the if statement, let's put x plus equals to hsp. It means if we meet the floor or the walls within our hsp pixels, then it will set our hsp to zero. And there is a while statement. So while our HSP is not colliding to the walls, we can still walk. And then outside the if statement, there is x that assigns our HSP to our position, whether if it's negative or positive, because our HSP returns whether if we press left it will return to negative HSP, and for the right it will return to positive HSP. Now I want you to copy this and paste it below this horizontal movements. Because we are going to do the same, but in vertical movements. So now that we pasted it, change the place meeting, replace this and move it to Y, and change it to VSP, do it to all and that's it. Now let's design our room. Using this floor, to make our ground. And I will put the character in midair to test the gravity. Now I will run it. And it works. Checking key movements. It works. The jump also works. Congrats, you just made a basic platformer game. On the next video I will try to put on sprites on this character. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked my video, and do not forget to subscribe to inspire me to make a part 2. Bye.